people often ask, why am I taking a test for a glycosylating hemoglobin? Well, because glycosylating hemoglobin, also known as HbA1c, is the primary indicator of your ability to control blood sugar. Now, if your uh, glycosylating hemoglobin is more than 6.5% of the red blood cells, you're, you're a diabetic and your future is bleak, very bleak. If it's between uh, 5.7 and 6.4, you're pre-diabetic. Your future is not quite as bleak, but it's not bright. Where you want it to be is between 4.9 and 5.1%. It says, now your diet is controlling blood sugar. And how is it doing this at the molecular level? It's activating the master switch of metabolism called AMPK. That master switch also makes you live longer and live better. Now, what's the best way to reduce glycosylating hemoglobin? I think the best way, and the data seems to confirm that, is by following metabolic engineering. It's a dietary system composed of eating lots of vegetables, some fruits, and adequate protein, coupled with getting adequate levels of omega-3 fatty acids and polyphenols. Put them all together, and you have a powerful drug with no side effects that will lower glycosylating hemoglobin within a very short period of time. 